Hi Descenders, welcome to another video. Today we are going to be talking about Ajax. This is the second video of the series. Quick no BS review for Descenders that I have been playing for the last couple of weeks since the game launched. And today we are going to be talking about Ajax. Ajax is one of my favorite Descenders right now. He's one of the available tanks and I'll share a couple of things that I like and dislike about this Descender. Ajax is one of the available tanks right now in the, the descend, uh, in the first descendant. Let's talk about his skills very quickly. He has two defensive skills. One is his shield barrier, his first skill, his Q. And the second one is his hypercube, his round fear that he's doing, um, you know, um, around him. And this can protect you and your party. And those are very, very good. The other two skills is basically void walk or void jump. He's jumping forward. And if the enemies survive, you can stun them. Uh, and the other one is explosion. Explosion. Um, basically doing a, an explosion around you. You can expand the range. You can bump up the DPS for those if you properly mod them and work on those skills. These skills over here, the defensive skills are based, uh, you know, the strength of the skills of the shields are based on your HP stats, on, on your defensive stats. So those are the stats that you want to build on him as much as possible. Um, and his passive skill is basically make giving you the ability to power up the skills, the those skills that you already have and you will see the power ups when you when your bar on the bottom glows up uh, and you'll see that those skills are going to be a little bit stronger when we talk about ter in terms of building him uh, i'm not going to go into details right now uh, basically like i said you want to build as much as possible defensive stats and hp stats currently i have 27k defense and 20k hp on him i still have work in progress on his build uh, this is the build tanky boy. Um, there is room to wiggle around. I switch up, you know, sometimes the mods and, and give him a little bit more defense or a little bit more HP. I try around different things, uh, but those are the things to go for. And I really like him because he's really super tanky. And in most fights, in most boss fights, you can survive. Now, why do I like him? Because he's really great for boss fights. Boss fights is one of usually the first challenges that you get into the game, you know, clearing out missions and boss uh, and, and grinding materials and stuff like that. For that, you have characters like Bunny and, and other descenders that you could use. But he is particularly very good for boss fights, team fights, uh, and I highly recommend you have him in his kit. Right now, I'm going to showcase you how I cleared my very first Heart Devourer. And I actually didn't even sweat it was very easy with this uh, descendant um, and that's why I like him. I don't like him for other content because he's too tanky and too slow. He he's good, just good for tank uh, for for like boss fights. That's it. But he is a great he's gr a great descendant to have in your kit. If you want to see a build guide on something like that, you can let me know in the comments below and ask, hey, when are you going to release the new guide, the full guide? Showing you a couple of seconds of the boss fight and thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.